morning, Minister of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors, the Honorable Tanae Furbet, JP, MP, delegates from the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Council of the City of Hamilton, it is truly a pleasure to extend a warm welcome to you all gathered here at City Hall today. We are honored to be hosting the Ministry of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors as they embark on a significant endeavor to launch the Bermuda Very's own first National Disability Register. The Bermuda Registry will be centralized, re repositioned for the collection of accurate and current data on persons with disabilities, which will in turn identify gaps in the areas of programs, services, special equipment needed for persons and disabilities. This innovative register marks a significant step towards inclusive, inclusivity in Bermuda. By gathering accurate data, we can better understand the needs of those in our community with disabilities across various sectors such as education, employment, healthcare, and accessibility. Today, we are dedicating our time to the collection of information for individuals who wish to register on this important platform. I urge everyone who is eligible to participate and contribute to this valuable and vital initiative. This endeavor represents a first for Bermuda and a pivotal moment in the journey towards creating a more and inclusive society, empowering individuals with disabilities through accurate data. Representation is not just a goal, but a necessity. It's about promoting their active participation and ensuring that their voices are heard and valued within our community. So today, as we move forward, I challenge each and every one of us to embrace a shared vision for Bermuda, one that is truly inclusive, welcoming to all. Together, we can pave the way for a community with individuals and disabil with disabilities feel safe, supported, and empowered to thrive. Let us continue to work in hand, in hand towards a brighter, more inclusive future for Bermuda. Thank you, and have a good day. Minister Furbert. Good morning, Bermuda. Let's get very loud about this today. I want to personally thank all who are here today to personally witness the launch of the first ever National Disability Register. <laughs> I spoke with Sir Leigh Thomas earlier, who is Bermuda's represent representative for Special Olympics, who said to me, of course I am here today. I wouldn't miss it for the world. It is with immense pride that I stand before you today for a significant milestone in Bermuda's history, the launch of our first ever National Disability Register. Since 2020, Government has worked on this throne speech initiative, and we are proud to be delivering on our promise. The National Disability Register allows the Ministry of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors to keep a centralized database of accurate and current data on persons with disabilities. This will provide key information about all types of disabilities persons are challenged with, which will in turn identify gaps in the areas of programs, services, and special equipment needs. In the depth, in the depth data, this will guide policy in healthcare, education, and accessibility initiatives to facilitate targeted support and deliver appropriate resources to advance inclusivity in Bermuda. 
Empowering persons with disabilities through accurate data representation is crucial for promoting and encouraging active participation in society, which further aligns with the government's five-year national plan for adults with intellectual disabilities and their families, which launched in May of 2023. As an occupational therapist, having worked with persons with all abilities, I am keenly aware that often when we live with a disability, an impairment, or even a health condition, we like to keep it private. We do not disclose to avoid experiencing any potential stereotyping, most specifically in a small island like Bermuda. I understand the importance of privacy and the reluctance to disclose disabilities in a society where stereotypes linger. Yet today, as we gather for this launch, I remind you that persons with disabilities often bear the brunt of societal inequities. Therefore, I challenge everyone to partner together and share a vision for Bermuda that is inclusive for all. In doing this, we can collectively progress towards not only achieving the sustainable development goals, but we can break down barriers towards not only achieving sustainable development goals, but we can break down barriers where we can challenge stereotypes and create a Bermuda where persons with disabilities can fully participate and thrive. On behalf of the government of Bermuda, I am deeply grateful for the collaboration and support we've received along this journey from the invaluable input of the United Nations Development Program to the dedication of our government departments, community organizations, and support agencies, it has truly been a collective effort. I want to send a special thank you to the team of Aging and Disability Services for their dedication in making this register a reality. To all the community agencies with pop-up stalls today, thank you for the work you do for our community and for offering information for persons with disabilities. Let's give them a round of applause. The app can be downloaded at Bermuda, Bermuda Disability Register testapp.io or on Apple and Google Play stores. For more information, please contact Aging and Disability Services on 292-7802 or email ads at gov.bm. Additional information will follow in the coming months and will be shared across all media platforms to ensure the community is kept abreast on how to participate with the National Disability Register. It is only through our collective efforts that we can build a Bermuda where no one is left behind. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I would like to take the opportunity at this time to welcome and introduce Ms. Kimberly Wilson, Assistant Resident Representative for the United Nations Development Program, multi-country office in Jamaica. Honorable Tane Ferbert, JP, MP, Minister of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors. Mr. Charles R. Gosling, JP, Mayor of Hamilton, Bermuda. Mrs. Valerie Robinson Jones, Permanent Secretary, Minister, Ministry of Youth, Social Development, and Seniors. Distinguished guests, a pleasant good morning. I bring you greetings on behalf of United Nations Development Program's resident representative, Mr. Kishan Cody, who is unavoidably absent. He has asked me to share a few words on this auspicious occasion. Today, we celebrate the government of Bermuda's bold step in accelerating efforts to increase access to information and services advance inclusive development and create an ena enabling environment, I'm sorry, so that all persons with a disability who dare to dream of contributing more fulsomely to their personal development and their country have an opportunity to do so. 
Bermuda has taken another important step in highlighting its commitment to promoting the voice and partic participation of vulnerable populations, including an estimated 3,000 Bermudians with a disability through the launch of this groundbreaking National Disability Registry. This centralized platform for collecting, storing, and managing crucial data on persons with disabilities provides a user-friendly interface that facilitates electronic registration and verification of critical data for persons with disabilities. UNDP is of the firm view that this application will contribute to monumental change. Notably, inclusive development is not only critical to achieving the nation's development transformation agenda, but also Bermuda's economic development strategy and its broader Vision 2030 plans aligned to the Sustainable Development Goals. UNDP would like to commend the government of Bermuda for your heightened efforts to create an enabling environment where persons with disabilities feel valued, supported, and empowered to thrive. It has been our honor to partner with Minister Ferbert and the team from Aging and Disability Services in expanding this stellar work. We are available to support any future initiatives geared towards inclusive development solutions that ensure outcomes are enjoyed by all. I urge all persons with disabilities to partner with your government on this important initiative by attending the registration drives. In so doing, you ensure your government is better positioned to tailor fit for purpose services and policies to improve your lives. Let us recall the words of President Barack Obama who said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. I thank you. At this time, I'm going to welcome you to participate in the National Register. There are our intake workers over here to my right who are assisting persons to get the data into our, uh, our, our app. And we just encourage you to participate. We also encourage you to enjoy the day today and visit all of our um, representatives and organizations in our community who assist persons with disabilities. Thank you again for coming out and please enjoy the day.